The warnings are everywhere. They are impossible to avoid, but they're not enough, it seems. In Birmingham, the number of new COVID infections is 15 times higher than six weeks ago. Britain's second city, already in the second tier of restrictions, expects to move into tier three very soon. But when leaders from the West Midlands electronically face the press today, Birmingham's leader said even the toughest level wouldn't stop the spread. I don't believe that a move to tier three is the answer because I don't think it will be enough. I'm of the opinion that England needs to follow France, Germany and Wales with a national circuit breaker as quickly as possible. Scientists warn without further action the number of deaths in this second wave will exceed 80,000. Latest official figures suggest one in 100 people in England had coronavirus last week. That's up from one in 130 the week before and follows a 47% rise in new daily cases. The North West had the highest rate, 2.3% of people living there tested positive last week, closely followed by Yorkshire and the Humber, while positivity rates in the northeast of England have levelled off now. With Luton and Oxford moving to Tier 2, the government is still resisting calls to abandon its regional approach. The national level approach, a blanket one size fits all, is something you should hold in reserve. So what we're doing is straining every sinew. Uh, all of our focus is on a targeted approach. But scientists say more than that is needed now. Firmer measures that bring in more similarity, that are clear for people, and, and will absolutely get on top of these case numbers. Because if not, we are looking at a really, really miserable rest of 2020, and there are things we could do now to avoid some of that. Last night, as Nottingham was about to enter Tier 3, large groups of young people gathered in the city centre, defying rules on social distancing. For mother of two, Jess Langston, it is further evidence that shelterers like her have been forgotten. She suffers from lung disease and says current policy makes her feel expendable. I just feel far more exposed and vulnerable now than we did at the beginning. At the beginning, we were able to lock down and the support structures and the infrastructures were around to support people who needed to lock down, whereas now all of those things have gone. Communities across the country face tougher restrictions, but the figures are inescapable. This crisis is still heading in the wrong direction. Paul Davis, ITV News.